I'm disappointed to hear what Dick Vermeil has to say. I understand where he's coming from because he's very, very old school. Um, by all accounts, he's a good man. Uh, he's a champion. Uh, he's somebody to be respected. I know how loved he is in Philadelphia, but that's a very archaic point of view. And thank God he's not coaching in the NFL today because with that kind of thinking, he would have been fired because nobody would have wanted to play for a man who thinks like that. Let me be very, very clear. When Dick Vermeil says what we just played him saying, I, I would have had far more respect for what Dick Vermeil had to say if he would have brought up things about the Houston Texans. You talk about giving somebody a pass. You're so focused on Deshaun Watson and how he wants to make decisions or he wants to make moves, et cetera, et cetera. And you're so dismissive of what he has to say in terms of if you want to make all the decisions, then buy a team. Knowing that it's a good old boys club, there's, there's some African-Americans out there with some dough that would love to put their, their resources together and own an NFL team. But guess what? You have to be allowed in. And they've allowed, to tell you what the NFL is all about, they've allowed some individual, Shad Khan from Pakistan, if I remember correctly, to own a team before they've allowed some African Americans to gain an ownership share, at least a significant majority ownership share in a franchise. So that's a different subject to be broached another day. But what I'm saying about Dick Vermeil is, how do you not bring up what led Deshaun Watson to this point? You highlighted how coming out of college he didn't have this image. You highlighted what a good dude he was. We know how electrifying he was this year. Led the league in passing with over 4,800 yards passing, averaging over 300 yards passing per game, completing over 70% of his passes, being an absolute stud outside of Patrick Mahomes. Can you definitively say there's somebody else with that talent and that youth that you would want? Essentially, Dick Vermeil is ignoring all of the things that they did to alienate. Deshaun Watson, the moves that Bill O'Brien and the Texans made, the fact that they didn't take him to, into consideration, and it's not about his emotions. It's not just about that. It's about the fact that he's looking at an organization that appears to be incredibly dysfunctional, so much so that you had coaches out there that didn't want the job, which is why they had to go and give it to a man who's 65 years of age, black, and, oh, by the way, was in the league for 27 years and couldn't get a damn job as a head coach. But suddenly, he's your new head coach in Houston. That's the route that they had to go. No disrespect to Mr. David Cully because I'm wishing him nothing but the best. But the bottom line is that's the route you had to go because other qualified candidates that had better reputations didn't even want the job. Dick Vermeil brings none of that up. He just goes the route of looking at the player and saying, excuse me, you know what, essentially, shut up and play. We've heard this before. We didn't hear it when Brett Favre retired, he was threatening to retire on numerous occasions, holding the Green Bay Packers hostage, then retired and then unretired because he wanted to get traded and ended up getting traded to the Jets because he really wanted to stay in the NFC North and they wouldn't oblige, so he went to the Jets for a year before ending up in Minnesota. We didn't hear anything then. We didn't hear anything when Carson Wentz essentially did the same damn thing to the Cincinnati Bengals. But Deshaun Watson does it. And now all hell's breaking loose and everybody's talking about how he's out of pocket. I wonder why that is. I don't know. I can guess, but I won't. I just wish that Dick Vermeil was well, a bit more expansive with his comments as well as I wish Brett Favre was too. Stephen A., as you might say, let me put it more direct than you and take it to that place. Let's be honest about what's happening with Deshaun Watson. Look, the organization is a mess. It's dysfunctional. Bill O'Brien pulled a move with DeAndre Hopkins that obviously would enrage anyone who ever lived in Deshaun Watson's position, and, and Deshaun Watson is, is someone who's ever lived. So he's enraged, too, by it, I'm sure. And then the proof is in the pudding. He balled out of control, and the team still was awful, right? So we understand it's dysfunctional. But, Stephen A., is it just about dysfunction? Or do you suspect, as I do, as many people do, that Deshaun Watson has a problem with McNair, with Cal McNair, right? He has a pro I don't think he thinks his heart is in the right place um, right. because of his politics and who he supports and what they stand for because of the track record in the organization he hires as was reported for hundreds of thousand dollars a consulting firm who go get us our best the best people and when the best people come back and Stephen A they ain't white they go in a different direction don't they let's be honest that's part of what's going on here 
So sure. I think it is insensitive for Dick Vermeil to ignore it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.